Well, hello again from Kingston. And in case you can't tell, let me confirm, it's pretty cold out here today. It's been an interesting week weather-wise, and you'll hear all about it in this update. Thanks for watching. The weather has been less than kind this week, and we woke to snow on Monday, which demanded the deployment for the first time of the sanding machine. It doesn't take much imagination to realise how cold the conditions are on the bridge. But life goes on, even if it means blowing snow off the work site you intend to pour concrete into. As the sun came out, the Sousa team had the first of several busy days this week. Through a combination of hard work and high skill, they completed many of the marginal areas that had needed to be finished. Meanwhile, Tomlinson staff were clearing up and preparing the sidewalk that will lead to the library from the new car park. Whilst Black and MacDonald continued to install new lamp bases all around the intersection of 15 and Gore Road. At the beginning of the week, it was a busy scene on the steel structure, with material being moved around, reinforcing rod being laid at a pace, and much other work. Tuesday continued the motion, and it seemed likely that on Wednesday there would be concrete laid. On Tuesday, too, Tomlinson staff began to work on the southern margin of Gore Road, perhaps in preparation for asphalt. And in a slightly surprising move, foam boards, which had been held in the cut by Point St Mark, left the site, surplus to requirements after insulated pipe was substituted. Wednesday dawned bright and clear, and Big Red, the pumper truck, was on site before 7 o'clock. Preparations to pour were well advanced when the smallest equipment fault occurred, making it possible that contamination would result if work proceeded. The only responsible choice was to cancel. However, up on Highway 15, Sousa Ready Mix was busy again, pouring a bus stop, with independent testers Cambium ensuring the mix was a good one. Sousa would go on to pour more margins on the side of Gore Road. Whilst nearby, Black and MacDonald poured concrete from CBM on lamp bases and other structures. Before we leave Wednesday, it's worth noting that a great deal of gravel is being placed on the sides of Highway 15 and on the embankment of Gore Road, likely in preparation for asphalt later. Thursday was a thoroughly wet and windy day, with little to commend it but a visit to the West End revealed that objects spotted earlier in the week were indeed railings for the sides of the bridge. Staying on the West End, on a very busy Friday, it was discovered that the railings reach out four spans on the north side, and certainly they've begun on the south side too. They certainly make an elegant statement 
on the bridge. The construction of concrete forms around the divider that will separate the vehicle from the multi-use pathway suggests that this may soon be the subject of work. Overall, the early concrete spans are certainly showing significant signs of progress towards completion. Out on span 9, the placement this week of a new cabin suggests preparations for winter. Back on the east end on Friday, Tomlinson were placing one of the final vaults on the east side of Highway 15, while Sousa Ready Mix ran the curbing machine just yards beyond. And long anticipated work to start building the final vertical stage of the east abutment began. This shows the scale of the task involved. There was also a small but significant development at the library where Kiewit staff delivered, laid and finished asphalt on the ramp approaching the car park. And now I'll take you to wildlife with a long look at the Fool Bridge in December. Well, as I've taken to saying, that's another week in the bag. We're getting close to Christmas and there will be a break for the whole workforce. But in the meantime, keep watching the updates and do consider subscribing. It really helps. Bye for now.